How's it going everyone? Zabby here and we're back with another episode of the Baltimore Orioles Out of Park Baseball Series. Just wanted to let you guys know I stream Tuesday to Saturday over on Twitch, so check the description down below if you want to give that a follow and check it out. We play MLB The Show, NHL 20, and whatever the hell else I feel like at the time. Also got Twitter and Instagram down there if you guys are into that. But let's jump right into the series here. We signed Roman Laureano. We got him for $8.5 million, so we basically used up the rest of our uh, cap space there on Roman Laureano. He is going to be playing center field for us, not right field. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that we did sign him, and that's pretty much all that happened other than some injuries, uh, which, I, I mean, you guys expected that. So Carter Loma's basically out the whole year, which is whatever. Uh, Tommy Evans out for a few days, stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Mount Castle's at third now, which is strange because I want him at first, but that's okay. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll force him down there, but we just need to um, drop two more players. So we do have... So we got to keep Cody Roberts because he's our backup catcher. Question is, is what do we got to drop here? Probably a reliever, right? Yeah, we got to drop some relievers. So we'll drop uh, this guy. We'll drop Nick. And we'll drop Hall. All right, so there we go. Now our roster is ready to go. Uh, we just got to go in here and quickly set some, some shit up. Because I don't want... I want... I want using the LDS playing right and because he's a gold glover in right anyways. So we might as well play uh, Roman Laureano in center, right? That way we have two really good defensive guys. And then we want... Where is he? We want our boy, Ryan Mountcastle. Well, he can play third for now. After Tommy Edmund gets back, I will force him to uh, back to first base. But for now, until Tommy Evans is back, we'll leave him there. But all right, so let's um, update all lineups. There you go. And let's go to pitching. Remember, we got a new manager, so it's going to be a little bit different around here. That's for sure. Uh, Strowman's back at starter there. He actually looks all right. Uh, one thing that I forgot to show you guys is we did get a development report. Uh, where is it? There it is. So Strowman got a little bit better there. I'll just scroll through this. If you guys want to pause and check out a few players, anyone that you noticed. Uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. And then uh, let's look at our goals. Uh, it's the same goals pretty much as last year. And here are the top prospects. We don't have... Oh, no, we do have... We have Luis Delgado. So here we go. We uh, Do we have any bats? I don't think we have any bats on there. No. But we do have some pitchers. Luis Delgado is pretty good. And then we should have another one. Here, we'll just go to the top minor league system. So where are we now? We're 11th now. So we actually only have 9 and 21. But they're both pitchers. Uh, Delgadio's looking real, real good. Hopefully he can develop for us. We desperately need him to. But anyways, we're ready to get the season underway. So we're going to probably go up to the draft or something like that in this video. But I'm ready to get this fucker going, man. I am... Dude, Jason Dominguez is actually turning out all right. He's only 22. But he's probably going to be a future center fielder. He's really good defensively. Which is nice. Uh, he was alright for us last year too. He actually hit decent for us. Doesn't have a lot of pop or anything yet. His bat's kind of weak still. So I'm hoping he can grow over the course of this year. Uh, Harrison is looking like a good closer for us too. He'll probably be um, he'll probably be called up for us pretty soon. But anyways, let's get the season underway. Let's take a peek at who we're facing. We start off with a series against the Jays. And then we got Cleveland, Oakland. But yeah, let's... Um, Let's get the season started. Hopefully, this is the year. Ryan Mountcastle's hurt. Brain thumb. Well, you're playing. All right. Get the season underway. Let's have a good fucking year, boys. That's a good start. Using you. Oh my god, man. Three months. All right, looks like Jason Dominguez is coming up to play center. So let's um, let's lock in our boy Loriano instead of at center. We're gonna put him into right. We really don't have a fucking option if we're being honest. Uh, we need uh, we need a good uh, right fielder. Loriano is probably the best bet, and then Jason Dominguez is definitely not gonna hurt us defensively. He might not be great offensively, but he's not gonna hurt us. Uh, defensively, that's for sure. Alright. So we started off good there. 
Bobby Evans back. Thank fuck. Let's uh, set game strategy. Put him to first. Uh, Mount Castle to first. And then we'll bring Edmonds back up. Oh, we got to drop someone down. Uh, the question is, is, who do we drop down here? Probably one of the relievers, right? Because I, I did notice that we had a few extra relievers. Just quickly fix our pitching there. And we'll quickly update our lineups. There that we do have enough uh, bench bats here. Actually, it's got it's got Bolden as a bench bat. Can he hit? Um, I'd like to see his batting ratings. I guess he kind of can hit for a pitcher. A little bit better than most people, I guess. But yeah, so the lineup's changed up a little bit now. Um, Grammel's off to a really bad start, but that's okay. It's very very early. But yeah, Edmonds back at at third, and now it's gonna bring in um, uh, where is he? Oh, does it have in DH? It does have Blake Class in his DH. All right, never mind. That's fine by me. But man, yeah, that injury really sucks. It's not a... Dude. I don't know what it is with injuries in this game right now. How long was that? Four or five weeks? But yeah, we're, uh, we're already getting fucking destroyed by injuries. And it's like literally the first fucking week of the season. Which is just unbelievable. I mean, it's not unbelievable because that's all that keeps happening. But it's like, come on, dude. Like, can we just not? I'm going to call this guy up. Fuck it. Uh, I guess I don't really need to fix lineups. I just need to fix pitching, right? Yeah, we already lost a starter. We already lost two starters, I think, right? So, yeah. Not a very good start. Hopefully we can... um Stick around 500 and maybe go on a little bit of a run here. Because we, uh, we need... Okay, good. We got a starter back. Thank fuck we got Zimmerman back. Who's our worst starter? Uh, sh dude, he actually has been... Champlain's been good. Uh, we'll send this Bo uh, Bolden guy down. Bring back our boy, Bruce. There we go. All right, so let's get some guys back from injury here. Hopefully we can um, turn this shit around. At least it's a better start than it was last year. I mean, we're sitting at 500 still, but we're only a game and a half back, so. There we go, we got another starter back. All right, I'm liking it. I am liking it. Uh, Garcia, he's actually not too shabby. I actually really like Garcia. Well, there we go. Rotation is looking somewhat normal. Looking pretty normal. Which is nice. Hopefully that it means we're going to go on a little bit of a run here. I don't want to... I want to get... I want to fucking win this year, man. I, I feel like such a letdown to the Baltimore Orioles. And now we're 11 and 17. We do better when our fucking starters get hurt. Wild. I just... <laughs> I just don't know what to do anymore, everybody. I just don't know what to do anymore. I feel like the Baltimore Orioles are fucking cursed. Honestly, they're fucking cursed. Like, at this point, I'm pretty much convinced that they're cursed. Uh, let's just go to pitching stats here. I just... I just don't... I don't... I don't... I don't know what to do. They're just, they're fucking cursed. That's all there is to it. They're cursed. The reliever who's been ass. Because I think it's going to throw Strowman in as a reliever. I'd rather just get rid of a bad reliever, you know? They've actually all been all right, though, in all honesty. What about starters? All my starters have actually low-key been bad, too. Which is fucking annoying. Severino's been meh. Let me just send down... Um, okay. Here. We'll fucking trade him. I don't know what we're going to get for him, but I'm going to trade him. He's not doing that good. And Strowman, I, I'm paying Strowman too much. I might as well fucking play him, so... We can get something somewhat useful here. 
then uh, we'll go ahead. Well, one thing I actually was looking for was a was a third baseman, but we're not gonna get one. So let's just grab. Um, really need any of these guys. All right, we'll just pick uh, this guy. Sure, why not? Doesn't really matter. And let's throw Stroman back in there. Let's see what it does with Stroman. But it is going to make Stroman a starter. That's all right with me. I'm going to get rid of Zimmerman. All right. Keep heading towards the draft here. We're uh, not sitting pretty, but we're on a little bit of a win streak there, dude. As soon as I get one guy back, another guy gets hurt. It's fucking wild. Absolutely fucking wild. All right. Keep going. We got to turn it around soon, man, or else it's just we're not going anywhere. Secondary. Oh, he can't be demoted. Fucker. So we'll send Turchin down. But 15 to 26, we really got to fucking turn it around, like, right now. Like, there's no more time. Because, like, I'm at a loss for words. I can't believe that the team is still bad. Like, I know our lineup isn't amazing, but it's not fucking this bad. Like, at least I don't think so. I don't think it's that bad of a lineup. I think it's actually a pretty decent lineup. Almost everyone performs decently well. Uh, I don't know, man. Orioles just might be cursed. This might be cursed. I don't think the future's looking too bright for GM Zabby here. I think, uh... I think Nate Angelos is gonna end up fucking firing our ass. If I'm being honest with you guys. Player development. Roman got worse, so... Mountain Castle got worse. Kirchin got a little bit better. Unbelievable. Keep going up to the draft. We're not going to turn it around. I'm getting very, very depressed. Oh, yeah, we're at the draft now. All right. So we got the third overall pick. Another high pick. Go to auto draft. Not auto draft, but pick by Baltimore. I don't want pitchers. I prefer a batter. Unless there's a starter, I guess. Here, let's go back to pitchers here. There's starter. There's one starter. Joe Carter. Oh, I guess there's two starters. Jeremy Lamb. So both both scouts like Joe Carter. Um, where's this Jeremy Lamb fucker? Where'd he go? There he is. They like him too. All right. Current strictly bullpen, future starter, ground ball pitcher. Ground ball pitcher. He's only got three pitches. I mean, he isn't the end of the world, but I think we're going to go with Jeremy Lamb unless there's, um... Oops. Need to hit that again. This was a really good bat. Possible to sign second base. Center field, right field. I mean, I wouldn't mind one of these guys. But in all honesty, we still need pitching. And I know drafting for need is not necessarily the best thing to do. We're gonna we're gonna grab this Jeremy Lamb guy. Oh, actually he's uh, he's 21. Yeah, but he's good. We're gonna draft him. For the next pick by Baltimore. Don't really need relievers. I don't like drafting fucking relievers. I'd rather just draft starters that turn into bullpen arms, you know what I mean? Go back to batters here. Possible, impossible. Draft is actually kind of shit, if we're being honest. I'm actually just going to auto-draft. Well, I guess, I guess I shouldn't. Yeah, I'm probably going to get fired at the end of this year anyways. That's not a good excuse. Let's grab a reliever just because at least he's good. We'll do one more pick here. Batters. Um, we'll grab this guy. 
All right. We'll complete the draft like that. Uh, the late picks are not such a big deal. So, whatever. All right, let's quickly negotiate. Jeremy Lamb, man. He's going to be good, I hope. I'm just going to get all these guys. None of them want, like, a crazy amount, so. Not a big deal. Need the talent anyways. Then I just won't even bother with the last two unless they're elite, but. That's actually not a bad pick, but whatever. Not a big deal. But yeah, there's the draft. We drafted Jeremy Lamb with our first pick. Danny Casey with our second. And... Luis Granados with our third. Oh, that guy actually three and a half stars. Not bad. Oh yeah, never mind. That's the reliever. What am I saying? Yeah, I knew he was three and a half stars. Uh, take a quick look at player stats. Not that it matters because we suck ass. So. Here's ERA. Dude, Strowman fucking sucks. There's War. Zach Lother again is like one of the only pitchers who's been doing okay. This is a fucking joke. We'll go to batters. Here, get it this way. There's home runs. There's RBIs. There's on base. There's war. Hey, Matt McClain's doing really good for us. Like, really, really good for us. Uh, Taylor Trammell is not doing good for us, which is annoying. Bobby Wood Jr. is having a pretty bad year, too. Our offense has just been slow, man. Fuck. I was hoping the addition of Baron, or Aaron, Baron, Aaron Boone would uh, be a little bit bigger of a help, but we're really underperforming still, which is super, super frustrating. Like, super frustrating. Mm. Oh, yeah, I can't send him down. Lassen... I will send this guy down. All right. Hopefully the bats can turn around and quickly. Is it, man, we're just taking the fucking piss again. Like, I don't... I don't understand what happened, but it happened. Jason Dominguez is out. Oh, where's Turchin? Already up. Starling Marte is in fucking triple. That's funny. What does our lineup look like when he's out? We're probably going to have to play... Oh, it's going to play him? All right, that's fine. I'm fine with that. We're not even going to call anyone up. Because I'm sure we'll just get another injury in a day here anyways. We're 17 games back already. This is a fucking disaster. I apologize to every single Orioles fan. I thought we were going to be able to turn this around. All right, use Neil Diaz is back. Good. Now we're going to... Game strategy. Center feet. All right, let's hope we can fucking turn it around. I know I say that like every fucking sim, but there's not much... Like, I don't know what else to say anymore. I'm just so disappointed in this fucking team, man. I thought we were going to be all right. Every year I go into it, I feel like we're going to be good. And we just never are. Sad as that is, it's just, it's just the truth. We're just never... I'm just going to wave this guy. We're going to call up Bolden, even though he sucks. And another pitcher. But yeah, we're going to need a big-ass winning streak. We want to turn it around here. I don't. I just don't understand how... The team is always underperforming. Like, I know I've kind of been a little bit cheap and, you know, like, didn't go out and grab any big, big names or anything, but our team is better than fucking 30 and 48. Like, the team is better than that. Like, bottom line, the team is better than that. International free agency. Take a peek at that, I guess. Get all the draftees. Yeah, so we got all... We signed all the picks. Except for the, uh, the last two. But we'll just keep moving along here because, man, I, I just, I don't understand. I really, I don't understand. We're going to offer Bridges an extension. He's good. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll offer Miata an extension as well. Oh, he accepted it right away. Cool. 
yeah, we gotta fucking win some games here. This is just, it's getting so embarrassing, the fact that this team still can't fucking do anything. I just don't, like, I know our bench bats aren't great either and stuff like that, but, like, the team is better than this. Like, I know for a fact the team is better than this. And that's what I just don't get. Well, Blake Class is useless. I'm just straight up going to trade him. Severino is, like, he's... I thought he was a good ad. I'll have to check out how he's performing at the deadline, but I thought he was a pretty good ad. Um... Who we can get here? Probably not anyone we actually need. So. Yeah, there's no one we actually need, so I'm just gonna send him down. Fuck it. And we'll just bring back up Dominguez. Gotta go on a big ass streak. Um, we'll send Bolden down. You know, he's been good. How many innings has he pitched? 80. Oh, no, that was in that was in Norfolk. I was going to say. Fucking 2 ERA in majors. Like, what the hell? 35 and 53. Roman's out for a week. It fucking hurt the whole year. I don't even care. Nick Canley out five weeks. That's not good. Nick Canley is our only catcher, and he's actually gone to shit too, so. It's just, um, just actually gotten crazy. The amount of injuries we get per year is just fucking ridiculous at this point. Like, I know other teams deal with injuries too, but, like, it just seems like no matter what team I put together, they just get hurt instantly. Start of the season comes, fucking boom, five injuries. And that's just the way it is. Like, it's just... I don't know. I find it crazy. Find it crazy. Great proposal from the Yanks. Josh Andrews. Now, that guy's not even bad either, but uh, it, it, he's not really a big enough upgrade. We're actually close to the, uh, to the deadline. So, we'll just go to the deadline in this video. See who we got to trade away, and we'll trade them away if we need to. Uh, I'll take a look right now, actually. Just because I like having, I like, I like leaving a little bit of room. But I don't think there's many people we we have to trade. So yeah, Strowman's gone anyways. I'll see if anyone wants to take him. Just because now he's a rental. Uh, I'll even eat like most of his contract just because it's the uh, it's only for the rest of the year. If this doesn't work, I'll eat like 95% and see if we can get something for him. All right, yeah. So it didn't work. Here, I'll eat 95%. But like I'm literally eating the whole contract. You basically get him for free. Let's see if someone wants to give us something for him, and we'll uh, we'll get rid of him. That's another trade that didn't work out, uh, which is unfortunate. It's not like the Corbin one. The Corbin one, at least he was good when he played. Then he got you know he got fucking hurt, and that was it basically. But this one did not work out at all, and I should have expected it. I was just being fucking dumb. Uh, Luciano. Two years left. I don't want anyone who has term left. Like, at all, so. Alvarez, 900k. Cumberland, we could probably use... We could get him back. Get Brett... Get Brett is this the same Brett Cumberland? No, it's not. Forget the name of that catcher we started. Our backup catcher. Um. Anyways, let's grab this catcher. He's got a positive war. Fuck Strowman, dude. Get out of here. Don't even care that I'm just getting them off the team. But there's no fucking way that anybody we get can be worse. Oh, we'll send uh, we'll send pages down. Uh, where is it? Waivers and DFA. Cumberland. All right. Who else do we have to trade? Nobody. Well, no one that we uh, need to sign at least. Uh, Taylor Trammell might be on the way out. Let's see what we can get for him quickly. Hopefully somebody wants his ass. Because again, that's another trade that's not looking too fucking great. Alright, so there is some... The people do want to make a move here with him. So that's that's always good. 
Hopefully it's not just a bunch of fucking relievers though. Uh, who do we got here? Alara. Banfield. Like Wiseman. I don't really want relievers. Yell yeah, Angelhar, no. Royo, no. Ozzy Ozzy Albies I love, but he uh he took the shit there for sure. DJ Peters, no. Willie Calhoun? 5.8, and he's got no defense. I don't really want him. Victor Robles, no. Oh, again, it's looking like we're not going to get too much for him. I'm trying to see if there's literally, like, anybody we could fucking use. No more Mazzara. I don't really need him in right, though. I think I got to give... Taylor Trammell. He's only 27. He's not bad. Got a positive. I'm going to give him another shot for sure. I, I like, if that's all I'm going to get for him, then whatever. Uh, let's see Loriano. Loriano has been a disappointment yet again. But let's um, see if we can move him. Severino's been all right. But let's, um, let's shop Loriano here. You never know what we're going to get. Maybe we can get someone half decent. We are looking for a new third baseman. So if we can find a new third baseman. Like this guy. K. Uh, Doughty. He can play third. He looks alright. Um, I wouldn't mind a bigger name. But here. Let's um do this. Third base is kind of where we need an upgrade. Because Tommy Edmonds. Uh, he was a good budget pickup. But he's not really. No, not really amazing. Dude, how is this closer a fucking. How can he play third base? The pitcher and the third base. The fuck? That's so wild. Uh, Tyler Freeman. He actually doesn't look too bad. Got a really good eye. He can barely play third. Rio Ruiz. Ryder Jones. There's just not that many. Uh, ooh. He can play third. He's not bad. He can play third. The first baseman. But I don't mind that. Then we save the money too. But basically what I did with um with Loriano is I traded for him, didn't sign him, re-signed him. Now we're gonna get rid of him. So at least we don't lose him for nothing, right? I'm gonna grab that first baseman who can also play third. Where the hell is he? Um, that guy's not bad either, but the other guy was better. Uh, where the hell was he? Might have passed him already. They definitely passed him. Uh, where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? This guy, wasn't it? Was it, was it this guy? I thought he had better potential than that. I thought he had three and a half star potential. Am I crazy? Maybe I am a little bit crazy. Or was it this guy? No, it wasn't that guy either. I might have over... Like, I might have overreacted to how good I thought he was. Big burger. Could always grab Ryan McMahon back. He can't play third, though, but we could use him. Got 12 mil. I, like, I don't want to fucking... I want to pay him 12 mil. All right, let's try and make another shop attempt here. See if there's anything else we can grab. Urban Feldman, I wouldn't mind, but he's going to want to get paid. It's kind of frustrating. Um, Like, people just straight up don't want him. But Conforto, he would be good, but... We need to get some players who are actually going to fucking perform. Tim Rothwell... He's got a cannon of an arm, but he sucks offensively. What about Josh Andrews here? Josh Andrews has a good bat. We're gonna we're gonna do this guy, and we're gonna see if we can get something else added from them as well. Uh, maybe we can grab Pete Crow Armstrong. 
Probably can't grab another. Probably grab a starter. Maybe another third base, maybe first base. Need to add a lot more. Dude, these prospects suck. Like, why would I need to add a lot more? I don't understand. All right. We'll do that, and we'll grab a reliever as well. Not enough. Please add a little bit more. Well, if you want, like, a one-star prospect, like, I can do that. Like, this guy. Sure. All right, so we're going to trade Laurie and We're going to free up about 8 million cap. We're going to grab Josh Andrews, who probably be our starting third baseman right now. This video actually went a little bit longer than I thought because I didn't think I was going to do all these trades. But we're at the deadline. So anyone else you guys think we should move, um, I'll try and move them. Because, I mean, we got to we gotta change something up. I don't even know if I'm going to survive past this year without getting fired. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll be back again with another one very, very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the description to links to my social media platforms and Discord where you can come hang out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And also comment down below, and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.